Breaking news. A high court in Port Harcourt River State has issued an order restraining the People's Democratic Party from conducting its Congress, which was set to begin on Saturday at the world level. Justice Charles Willey prohibited the party, its national chairman, Damagu, and the national secretary, Senator Samuel Ayamu, all their agents from holding world, local government, and state congress anywhere in River State until the court hears and determine the suit before it. The suit was filed by at least one PDP member from each of the 23 local government areas challenging the conduct of the congress. The judge also directed the Inspector General of Police, the Commissioner of Police in Rivers, the Director General of the Department of the State Service, and the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps to comply with the order. Now, this is the second order from the Rivers High Court to stop the planned Congress by the PDP in the state. Earlier this month, Justice Sabori issued the first order in response to a suit filed by David Omeriji and 10 orders against the PDP, its national chairperson, the national financial secretary, and the national organizing secretary. Guys, following the first order, the Federal High Court in Abuja issued a counter order allowing the PDP to proceed with its activities. In its ruling, Justice Peter Lifu barred the Department of the State Service, the police, the INEC, and seven others from stopping, truncating, or disrupting the Congress. Currently, there are three orders, three court orders regarding the planned Congress of the PDP in Rivers. Two of these court orders are issued by the High Court in Rivers State, have halted the, the, the Congress. Meanwhile, the Federal High Court order allowed the PDP to proceed with its activities. The Congress are scheduled to commence today, July. 27th, Saturday, 2024, across the country, with World Congress, followed by Local Government Congress on August 16th, and State Congress in September. These Congresses are meant to elect new officers to run the affairs of the PDP at the World, Local Government, and State levels in River State. But then, it seems that some certain persons who do not want the conduct of this Congress they are hell-bent on destroying the structures of the PDP in River State. Since they couldn't get hold of the structures in the state, they want to hinder the structure from holding their Congress, which is terrible. This is another political battle. This is another political power tussle in Rivers. And I can see the handwriting is, is, is boldly written on the wall, those that are behind this. But not to worry. Very soon, very soon, the plans of those, you know, people will be exposed and it won't work. It won't work. What happened in River State in 2023 will never happen in 2027. Nobody, the people of Rivers will not allow it to happen again. But I can see they want to show themselves who, they want to show themselves that they are in charge of Rivers. But time shall tell. Time will surely tell who is in charge of Rivers State. Because Governor Fubara has, you know, kept quiet for a long time. But of recent, Fubara is giving them back to back. Fubara is giving them back to back. But I see this as another, you know, power tussle by some persons who wants to make sure that the PDP doesn't hold its Congress. They are trying to frustrate the effort of the PDP in the states. Now, how does this party affair got to do with the courts? These PDP uh, chieftains across uh, each ward, across the 23 local governments, each ward, a PDP member from each ward, from each, uh, you know, uh, 20, each local government in each ward had to, you know, go and approach the courts. The courts now give an order ordering the DSS and the Nigerian police to make sure that the PDP does not hold its event today in River State, which is terrible. It is terrible. Now, the judiciary has now become a compromise body. The judiciary has become a tool, a political tool in the hands of politicians. 
who wants to do as they please. But it's so it's so unfortunate that the Nigerian judiciary has stooped itself so low that we are go, we, we, we will be seeing three conflicting court orders. The Federal High Court would give its order. The State High Court would give its order. Conflicting court orders everywhere. And this is what the CJN talked about, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, that those judges, courts giving conflicting orders would be prosecuted. But look at what's happening in River State. A court in River State stopped the PDP from conducting its, its uh, Congress. The Federal High Court in Abuja gave an order to allow the PDP to hold their Congress. Now, another order has come again from a high court in Rivers, in Port Harcourt, to stop the PDP from holding its Congress. This is a party issue. Why should the court interfere in the first place? Why should the court in even interfere? It's so terrible. But then I'm sure the PDP will sort it out amongst themselves. I mean, they would surely know how they will go about it. But I see this as another ploy. A political strategy to weaken PDP structure in River State ahead of 2027. All these moves are being made by some strategists to make sure that they weaken the structures of the People's Democratic Party because this Congress is very important to the PDP. So why would the court order the DSS and the, and the, the police to stop this PDP Congress? Those that want to stop this Congress know what they would gain from it. Knows what they will gain from it. But it's obvious that they don't want this Congress to hold. Because this Congress are also t- to, to elect ad hoc and national delegates as specified in the Constitution. Guidelines and adjusted timetable and scheduled activities of 2024. We know. But now it seems that some persons are not comfortable with this. The scheduled Congress are to elect new officers that will run the affairs of the PDP at the world and the local government level, even at the state levels in river states. But they want to halt this process so that they can truncate the structures of the PDP in rivers, so that they can, you know, halt the progress of the PDP in rivers. But this is indeed terrible. So guys, what are your thoughts on this? However, Nigerians have reacted. Nonsense. This lacks merit. The higher court has judged it. So why is the state giving another judgment? It's so sad that everything has been turned upside down. The next person said, Power Tosu. He who laugh last, laugh best. The judiciary has destroyed Nigeria. Okay, guys, I'm dropping here. What are your thoughts on this? Kindly share in the comments section. Thank you.